I've spoken about single mothers before. I don't speak about them a lot, but here and there, I will bring them up because I feel like they are becoming a protected group. Uh, I remember I made a video about them in 2017 and they got flagged. Oh. Yeah. And um, it was just about single mothers being undateable. It wasn't even, oh, wow. you know, it wasn't about anybody. I just said single mothers are undateable. And they said, you know what? You know, we got to take this down, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, How dare you? Yeah. And it's like, when did single motherhood, be it's just like Planned Parenthood. You know, it's like a abortion has become a very hot button issue because you got women that feel like aborting their children make you know makes them good people and it doesn't um because they think they're on the right side of history when you're on the wrong side of history because you're aborting what you created you created this mess and now you want the abortion clinics to fix it you're having it just proves you're having unprotected sex by men you really don't know you probably don't even know their last name you just know their nickname you probably had a one night stand with them and you got pregnant, you know, just they want they want their mistakes to be fixed. Period. Yes. Yeah. And I feel like we need to we need to continue to have these discussions and really call it this behavior, because to me, this whole putting single motherhood on the, on the pedestal, you got women, who, especially female celebrities that they are not even celebrities. You got these women I see online. They'll be they'll have a child with the guy. As soon as they don't have a child with the guy, they break up with the guy. And now all of a sudden. They, they are promoting their single motherhood, you know, meanwhile, promoting themselves and promoting, you know, how they are, you know, just in a, in a group of single, uh, the group of single mothers and how they should be a, you know, uh, presented sort of in a great light when really they shouldn't because uh, you probably didn't know that dude very well that you had the child with because you probably broke up with them before you even had the child. Cause I've seen that too. They broke up the dude before they, before they, before they had the child, you know, we've exactly. seen Maury. We've seen He's more, box, right? Right. yeah. All yeah. these women going on these shows, you know, testing ten different dudes. I mean, something needs to be stopped. I won't say stop, but something needs to be done about this. So, what do right. you feel about this? No, yeah, definitely the women being put on a pedestal. I'm in, uh, I'm in many different spaces, and unfortunately, I guess you know, different clientele, different ages, ranges, and whatnot. But there is a high, high rise in just the celebration of being a single mother. Oh yes, you did it, girl. Oh my gosh, you left that man. Okay, you're gonna take care of these children. They're probably better off without him. You know, all these things that they tell each other. Oh, you look good, girl. Yeah, you can get you a next one. Like these things that they say to each other, it's so disgusting and it's so <laughs> mentally warping that they actually believe it. Like wholeheartedly yeah. The woman or, you know, whomever is receiving the message is like, yeah, and she's getting all big headed on the fact that, yes, I made it into the cult of single motherhood. And here we are. Here we stand. Here we rise. You know? Yeah. yeah, it's actually crazy. But you're right. You're right. Like it's it's all over the place and they're creating messes that they can't fix and they want the world to fix it for them. Whoever it is, they so choose to beat up on the next day, you know? Yeah. And I'm not going to make excuses for them. I think mm -hmm. that these women have no discipline when it comes to their own bodies. Yes. And uh, they, I think they lack good fathers, uh, which is important. Um, I also think that, you know, they tend to demonize helicopter dads. You know, helicopter moms mm -hmm. get all the, you know, glory, but you, they demonize, good, you know, the good dads because to them there are no good men anyway. So, That's how they and, feel. yeah, yeah why, should, why should they have custody of the children? You know, why should they be raising the children? Why can't the children just be with the mother? You know? Yeah. And and you hear them. That's another thing they say a lot, too. Make sure you take him to court. Make sure you get that money. They don't even try to find out if the man was offering money to begin with. You know? No. I've heard some men that will come to me and be like, honestly, I was going to give her more than what she went to court for. Like, this girl just shot herself in the foot. Right. <laughs> you know, like, they really think that this these are the steps and they all cultivate and, and create these steps. And, it, yeah, it, it doesn't work for the children them nor anyone else so yeah and you know i think therapy is needed i think a lot of these particular type yes. of women need therapy and i think they they do need that help that they've never really gotten um i don't think anybody's ever really believed in them um and you know and i also yes. you know men you know are shamed for making this an important issue it is because the children matter you know just That's because right. a lot of you adults don't care about children or your own children doesn't mean that children don't matter. Children still should be able to grow up in a safe, healthy environment instead of in a warped, 
dysfunctional environment because that's how you grew up. You know, we should be better than how we grew up. You they, know? they feel attacked when we, we start talking about the particular group because they're so tightly met that they feel attacked. As soon as you say single mother, it's like their ear. If you want to see the rest of this podcast, make sure y'all click the link in the description box and go and check it out. Also, make sure you support the podcast. Donate, share. I'll see you next time.